Today, we do something different. This is Julia. Fine. Control yourself, Julia. Like many of you, he loves the ice cream. But where does this delicious confection come from? Who is responsible for the joy we all feel when we have the most delicious of ice cream? This is what we will discover as Julien devours this entire tub of connoisseur pretzel and peanut butter ice cream. Quel cochon! It turns out that, like fireworks and pasta, the idea of ice cream started in China. Of course, it was nothing like ice cream we know today, but rather milk and rice frozen together using ice and snow. It was so majestueux that King Tan Shan had 94 servants who went to the mountains just to get him some more. Of course, in France, they would be on strike most days anyway. The ancient Greeks also mixed snow with honey, and Hippocrates, the father of medicine, swore by it, saying he would live longer if you had it. Which is good for Julien here, because quite frankly, I'm surprised he's not yet had diabetes. Hey! Keep eating, we are not finished! Oh, fine. In ancient Rome, Emperor Nero also had many slaves who collected ice from the mountains. He would then mix these with fruit and juice to make a primitive sorbet. But do you see what the problem with all of these is? They are all for rich ass bitches! Just another example of a decadent nobility taking advantage of the little people! Bring me my guillotine! For more than a thousand years, ice cream did not develop. Until one day, Catherine de Medici became Queen of France, and she filled her court with ice cream. This forever solves the riddle. It was the French, and not the Italians, who invented ice cream. But wasn't she from Italy? And weren't all her cooks Italian? Assez, Julien! Or you will eat cake! Okay! Anyway, the treat was so popular that it spread across all the nobility in Europe. It was Queen Catherine who brought ice cream to the world. I would call her a hero, but she did also help organize the brutal genocide of 30,000 Protestants. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. This was a big year for ice cream. It was a year that it stopped being for just rich ass bitches and instead became affordable for basic bitches too. Thanks to advances in transport and insulation, keeping things frozen was a lot cheaper. In London, Carlo Gatti began selling scoops of ice cream for a penny each. And in the USA, Jacob Tuchel started the first ice cream factory. The people's love affair with glass was about to begin. Uh, not that kind of love, Julien. In this year again, science came to the rescue. In Germany, Karl von Lin invented refrigeration using the same ammonia technology many fridges still use today. From that moment on, you would no longer need a special freeze room to keep things cold. People started to experiment with ice cream, creating new flavors and new ways to eat it. Of course, this means that churches in America immediately banned it on Sundays. How could something so sinfully good not be a naughty, naughty thing? In the 30s, 
ice cream boomed into supermarkets, and by the time the Second World War started, they were so popular among Americans that it was used during the war to help improve the soldiers' morale. By the end of the war, the US Armed Forces was the biggest manufacturer of ice cream in the world. It's how les Américains kept fighting the war, and it's how they celebrated when they won it. They also killed thousands of innocents when they bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It seems ice cream and mass murder go hand in hand. This era saw the rise of food additives and preservative, not preservative, as well as the growth of companies like Ben and & Jerry and Hagen Daz. The new technology and competition between brands made new flavors exploded onto the market. That is why you in America have silly little flavors like Chunky Monkey, Rocky Road and Chubby Abby. In France we are civilized, we stick to our classics like Glass of Framboise. Of course, this does not stop our more disappointing descendants from enjoying your so-called culture. Évidemment, Julien here cannot get enough of this ridiculous peanut butter flavor by connoisseur ice cream in Australia. I would rather die forever alone than never eat this again. Such a fucking disappointment.